All right, this is a uh, quicker version of my tutorial on this because <laughs> my other one was like 40 minutes long. So um, just to recap really quickly, in Roblox, the default behavior with seats is that you have to actually touch them in order to sit in them. Um, now that's fine, but in most games, that's not how it works. Usually you come up to a vehicle or a seat, whatever, and you press E or press a button on your controller in order to enter into it. Now, I wanted to replicate that behavior in Roblox with a simple script, just one script and handle the whole thing. Now, in order to do that, uh, there's a few things you have to do. First, on your with your seats, you have to tag them. And so I recommend using the tag editor, um, which is this plugin right here, and tagging all your seats under the same category. So for instance, my seats, um, I have a seats category that I use for all my seats. Um, and when you do that, then you can use the collection service within your code and get all the seats all at once. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a rundown on the code here um, and that's all we're gonna do. So basically the behavior is when a player comes up to one of these seats, um, you want this little message here to pop up that says press E to sit or whatever. And then when they press E, they sit into the seat. And when they press it again, they exit. That's it. So that's our behavior. So the code looks like this. And to give a rundown, the very first thing we want to look at is this line of code here. So we get an array of all the seats in the game based on the tag we gave it. Remember again, I used the tag editor to tag all the seats. And we get all those seats. Now, seats could come into the game and leave the game during runtime. If you imagine vehicles, you know, respawn or blow up, whatever. Um, and so in order to track the changes, we have this chunk of code. So we listen for seats that are added into the game and seats that are removed, and we update our list of seats accordingly. So now we constantly have a list of all the seats in the game all the time. The next step we have here is a, is a loop that continuously checks every 0.1 seconds. And so every 0.1 seconds, it checks to see what is the closest seat to the player. And we have a threshold, right? We have a we have a threshold distance of 10 studs. So we try to find all the seats that are within 10 studs of the player and find the closest one. And if there is one, we want to show the, the message to say, hey, you can sit in the seat. And so that will determine whether or not the message pops up. And we also track what seat that is. So again, every 0.1 seconds, we, we check to see what seat is closest. Now the last step of this is to capture user input. And we do that using the context action service. And we bind the action and we listen for the E key and also the button X, which is the X button on like a gamepad controller, like an Xbox controller. And when either of those inputs happen, it fires the sit request function. And when that function is fired, it checks to see if we're close to a seat. And if so, it sits in it. Um, the opposite behavior also, if we're already sitting, it jumps out of the seat. And so that's all it does. Um, so just to demonstrate it really quickly. If I'm in the game, as you can see, I'm close to the seat and the message pops up. And if I press E, I sit in it. And if I press E again, I jump out. And again, it can check that stuff pretty well. And if we have a bunch of seats within the same proximity, within our sitting proximity, it will just choose the closest one. Just like that. And that's it. So the code will be in the description, and I will put the link to that plugin for the tag editor as well there too.